Hello everybody and welcome to your rapid revision class after a very long time. Today we are going to be looking at the evolution of mankind. The fact sheet has already been shared with you but Didi is going to go through this chapter because many of you could not understand. So let us focus. I hope you're sitting with your book and pen while you watch this video. The way we're going to go through this video is we're going to pause the video and write down whatever we think is important and also instructions are given on each slide. So go through it carefully and happy learning. This is one of Didi's favorite chapters in history. So I hope you enjoy learning as much as I do teaching it. So let's get started. The big question that we will be answering today is how did we evolve and be the way we are today? Yani, hum abhi jaise hai, waise hum kaise hai? How are we like this? Or kya hamare purvaj, yani, did our ancestors look like us or were they different? So were we alike or were we different? We're going to study that today. Before we get into the evolution of mankind, let's quickly run through what is evolution. We have learned evolution with the help of the telephone. We have learned how telephone was different earlier and now we have mobile phones which are very advanced and they have touch screen and a lot of functions beyond the calling function that existed earlier. So when we think of evolution, there are two main words that we have to keep in mind, which is that evolution is a gradual and a continuous change. Yani, dheere dheere change hota hai aur lagatar change hota hai. So two key words in evolution are that it is a gradual, yani slow, and a continuous change over time. Yani, uh, ek din mein nahi hota hai change, dheere dheere se bohat time ke baad change hota hai. Second thing we had seen while learning evolution is what is the need for evolution? Ye evolution kyu hota hai aur kaise hota hai? Iska humne example liya tha of a mammoth and an elephant. We had seen that the process of adapting to environmental changes. Ki wajah se humare internal physical changes hote hain. Uh, like we had seen that when the mammoth existed, it was the ice age and it was very, very cold. So the fur helped the mammoth, protected it to keep it warm. But over time, as the temperatures rose, yani garmi badne lagi, the fur was actually causing an obstruction. Kyun? Usse garmi lagegi na? So the evolution kept taking place slowly, slowly. And we have the current day elephant that we see. The last part and the most important part about evolution is the theory of evolution, which was given to us by Charles Darwin. I want you all to pause, note down all the important points here. The ones in bold are very, very important and we have to keep it in our brain, fix it in our brain, uh, that evolution is slow and continuous. Why does it take place? Because of the environmental changes, our body or the internal physical changes take place. Uh, and the last part is, who is the person who has given the theory of evolution? It is Charles Darwin, okay? We're going to remember this as C.D. Charles Darwin. Once we have written this down, we are going to move ahead. We have understood what evolution is broadly. Now we're going to look at the evolution of mankind. When we think of the evolution of mankind or human beings as we are today, pehla jo picture aata hai hamare dimag mein is that didi man to monkey se aaya hai. Okay, we think of monkeys, we think of apes. And that's absolutely right, okay? Uh, apes. Apes mainly lived on trees. When we think of monkeys today or apes today, we know that they live on trees, right? But what happened is the monkeys that continued living on the trees, okay, they stay in their original ape form. Yani, hum jo aaj monkeys dekhte hai, ya apes dekhte hai, they are the same as they existed earlier because there have been no changes in them. There have been no changes in them. But 
there were certain apes okay which were found in the grasslands grasslands yani jahan pe trees nahi hai but there are huge pastures of grass because trees were not there yani trees wahan pe nahi the ya fir bahut kam trees the unhe niche utarna pada they had to come off the trees right wherever fewer trees were there they had to come off the trees or they had to walk on the ground in search of food right they had to move around so those apes they evolved those species of apes have evolved today and gradually over time it was a very slow and continuous process and eventually they have become human beings we can see it over here so we have gone through the apes the first stage okay the first stage of evolution of mankind which was as an ape and then we move on to our next one now we are going to understand this better it is the homo habilis okay now what is this we were very confused what is this new word we are going to make it easy peasy super easy and we are going to learn it very well okay so homo habilis ko samajhne ke liye hum use todne wale hain we are going to break it down into homo and habilis okay homo yani man homo means man and habilis habilis yani kya hai it means one who uses his hands skillfully okay so when we think of habilis we are going to think of hands h for habilis h for hands skillfully okay yani kya hai a man who uses his hands skillfully skillfully yani you use your hands to create something kuch banane ke liye hum ye picture dekhe to hum hame wahi dikhta hai ki koi kuch bana raha hai apne haathon se right so a man who uses his hands skillfully is the is the homo habilis okay here man does not mean the gender that we talk about uh, man woman male female it includes the human species in general okay so this is a uh, a person that uses his hands skillfully is the homo habilis therefore he is called the skilled man why is he called the skilled man the homo habilis is called the skilled man because he uses his hands skillfully to make or create things now we're going to understand what is it that he made i hope you all are making notes because this makes it very very easy to understand and keep this picture in your mind because this will give us a great hint now let us understand how this homo habilis or skilled man looked wo kaise dikhta tha okay we are going to discuss his physical traits he could stand on his two feet and walk yani wo apne do pairon pe khada ho sakta hai aur wo chal sakta tha sometimes we see when apes are walking they use the help of their hands also so was homo habilis like that no he could walk on two feet his spine was bent spine yani kya hai we have learned this also the backbone that is there the backbone hamara kaise hai straight hai na but the homo habilis had a bent spine okay it was bent we can see that there is a curve like that right so it is a his spine was bent but everything else so his face his arms his legs were just like apes okay the first uh, picture that we saw how apes were they were very very similar to how apes were but what was the difference as compared to apes his brain was much bigger okay so one thing that we can notice jaise hi hum aage badhte jate hain hamare stages mein hamara brain jo hai bada hota jata hai bada hona matlab kya hai size mein bhi bada hota hai and not only that hamara thinking capability yani hum zyada acche se soch pate hain okay to homo habilis ka agar hum physical traits uh, yaad kare few important things are he could stand on two feet and walk spine was bent face arms legs were just like apes brain was bigger than the apes okay sirf picture yaad kar do automatically hamare physical traits hame yaad ho jayenge keep making notes everybody so that we remember now let's discuss we understood how he looks but how did he survive what did he do so he used to Uh, make 
tools he used to make tools this picture that you see here are the tools so they are not like the tools that we use today like a hammer or a knife or a spade it's nothing like that right sirf ye to patthar hai you will be telling me didi ye to sirf patthar hai ye to koi tool nahi hai but homo habilis ke tools aise hi the okay they were very basic they were very very basic and could not be used to kill large animals yani animals ko kill karne mein they were not useful at all bade animals ko sirf hum log we could scrape meat out of dead animals yani wo kya karta tha agar kahin pe animal mara hua hai wo wahan pe ja ke wo sirf uska jo flesh hai wo nikal ke khata tha ya fir he used to forage for food okay yani kya wo gather karta tha जहां पे भी वो जाता था वहां से फ्रूट्स लेता था रूट्स लेता था जो भी मिल अवेलेबल था वो सब वो खाता था ठीक है वो मार के नहीं खाता था जो डेड एनिमल्स थे वहां से वो ले लेता था और ये टूल्स उसे हेल्प करता था वो करने के लिए सो द टूल्स वर वेरी बेसिक ओके दे कुड नॉट किल लार्ज एनिमल्स ही वॉज अ गैदर यानी जो भी अवेलेबल था सिर्फ उसे इकट्ठा करके वो खाता था so these are the things that we need to remember about the homo habilis physical traits wo picture yaad kar lo two feet spine bent face arms legs just like apes brain was bigger tools ki baat kare to points wise yaad karna tools were basic could not kill large animals he used to gather roots and wild fruits okay he used to scrape meat from dead animals let's move on now we have done apes we have understood homo habilis now we are going to understand homo erectus okay who is the next stage this is very interesting and this is a very very important part of history okay homo erectus similarly jaise humne homo habilis mein kiya tha usi tarah homo erectus ko bhi hum tod denge do hisso mein homo we already know this it is man and erectus okay erect ka matlab kya hota hai one who stands erect erect yani straight jaise hamara ruler hota hai theek hai to ye he can stand erect erect didi aapko class mein kabhi kabhi bolti hai everybody sit erect yani kya sit straight okay sit straight so why was he called the homo erectus humne dekha ki homo habilis बेंड था उसका स्पाइन बेंड था थोड़ा टेढ़ा था वो बट दिस मैन होमो इरेक्टिस इज स्ट्रेट ओके दिस इज द रीजन ही इज कॉल्ड होमो इरेक्टिस ही कुड स्टैंड स्ट्रेट लेट अस लुक एट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ होमो इरेक्टिस नाउ हिज स्पाइन वाज स्ट्रेट नॉट बेंड वी कैन सी यहां पे भी दीदी ने पिक्चर डाला है ताकि आप देख सको ये सीधा खड़ा रह सकता है and his brain was bigger than homo habilis yani homo habilis se bhi wo zyada soch sakta tha look at the brain photos you can see jaise didi ne bataya jaise hum aage jate hain waise hi brain bhi bada hota hai okay and they used to live in groups abhi groups mein kyu rehte the kya fayda hai groups mein reh ke the advantage is that when we are together when we are in a group we are more protected that time there were animals that used to attack okay and they can help each other they can live together so they started living together so the homo erectus what are the characteristics very very easy his spine was straight not bent brain was bigger lived in groups okay note it down yaad kar lo saath mein didi ke saath hi seekh lo so that you will be all ready uh, before we move ahead next this is the most interesting part okay he also made tools but he started using tools like the hand axe yani wo uh, homo habilis se better tools banata tha jaise axe banata tha and he could hunt animals homo habilis kya animals ko hunt kar pata tha that's right he could not he could not hunt animals he used to only gather but Homo erectus क्या वो हंट कर पाता था Yes, he could hunt, okay? Because he had better tools like the hand axe. We can see this picture here. It is not like the hand axe we have today, but we can see that they have started having some point ताकि वो मार सकते हैं and use कर सकते हैं. 
the next part is here is when fire started becoming important to man okay he saw wild fire and knew about it yani wild fire kya hota hai फॉरेस्ट जल जाते थे नेचुरल कॉजेस के वजह से फॉरेस्ट बहुत सारे जल जाते थे तो उसने देखा कि अरे देर इज समथिंग देर इज सम रेड कलर लाइट दैट इज देर एंड इट इज गिविंग आउट हीट ओके इट इज गिविंग आउट हीट बिकॉज फायर गर्म होता है ना तो उसने वो देखा और वो समझा बिकॉज ही स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग होमो इरेक्टिस को थिंक ऑल्सो अ लिटिल बिट बट ही डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू मेक फायर ये फायर कैसे बनता है और कैसे बनाना है इसे वो उसे नहीं पता था होमो इरेक्टिस डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू मेक फायर दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि जिसे याद करना होमो इरेक्टिस फायर के बारे में जानता था लेकिन क्या उसे पता था कि फायर कैसे बनाना है नो ओके वो क्या करता था जब ये फॉरेस्ट फायर देखता था वो कि बहुत सारे पेड़ जल रहे हैं फॉरेस्ट जल रहे हैं तो वो एक ब्रांच उठाता था ही कुड ही वुड टेक द बर्निंग ब्रांचेस और वो इकट्ठा करके उसे यूज कर देता था अर्लियर सिंस इट वाज वेरी वेरी कोल्ड द फायर वुड हेल्प स्टे वॉम ओके सो दीज वर द की फीचर्स अबाउट द होमो इरेक्टिस वी अंडरस्टूड हाउ ही लुक्ड ओके दैट हिज स्पाइन वाज स्ट्रेट ब्रेन वाज बिगर एंड ही लिव्ड इन ग्रुप्स ही हैड टूल्स लाइक द हैंड एक्स व्हिच वर मेड okay and he could hunt animals because of this lastly he saw wild fire and knew about it yani wo uh, he knew about fire but he did not know how to make it and he used this fire for what to keep him warm as it was cold so we have learned about apes we then moved on who was the next uh, next stage that came in it was the homo habilis and the next stage was homo erectus so we have finished half of evolution okay half we have learned we understood about apes we learned about homo habilis and then we learned about homo erectus keep these stages in mind they are very very important we have finished three we will do the next three in the next video um let's be very very clear about these three till then okay um thank you so much for learning i hope this makes it very very clear for you uh, i want you all to write and learn use the fact sheet as well which has been shared with you all there's a google form that you need to complete after watching this video and in case you still have some doubts please feel free to ask me and i will help you learn better um thank you so much